Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're dealing with Microsoft Teams Error 657RX, you're not alone. This error can prevent you from signing in or using Teams properly, making it frustrating, especially for work or school. But don't worry, in this video, I'll walk you through several proven fixes to get Microsoft Teams working again. Let's jump right in. Solution one, clear Teams cache files. One of the most common reasons for error 657RX is corrupted cache files. Teams stores temporary data that can sometimes cause conflicts. Clearing these files forces the app to regenerate fresh cache data, often resolving the error. To do this, first, close Microsoft Teams completely, including any background processes. Then, open File Explorer and go to the following location. Percent app data backslash Microsoft backslash Teams. Delete everything inside the cache, code cache, GPU cache, index DB, local storage, and TMP folders. Once you've cleared these, restart your computer and try launching Teams again. Solution two, remove stored credentials for Teams. Sometimes saved credentials in Windows Credential Manager can become outdated or corrupted, leading to authentication errors like 657RX. Removing these credentials forces Teams to ask for a fresh login, which can resolve the issue. To do this, open Control Panel and search for Credential Manager. Click on Windows Credentials, find any entries related to Microsoft Teams, and remove them. After this, restart Teams and log in again. Solution 3. Reconnect your work or school account. If you use Teams with a work or school account, an account synchronization issue might be causing the problem. To fix this, Go to Windows Settings, then Accounts, then Access Work or School. If you see your account listed there, disconnect it and restart your computer. Then go back to the same menu and reconnect your account. This will refresh your authentication settings and may resolve the error. Solution 4. Remove your device from Azure AD. In some cases, your device's registration in Microsoft Azure Active Directory, Azure AD, might be the problem. If none of the previous solutions worked, try removing your device from Azure AD. To do this, sign in to the Microsoft Azure portal, go to find your device, and remove it. Afterward, restart your computer and reconnect your account through Windows settings, then access work or school. And that's it. Hopefully, one of these solutions helped you fix Microsoft Teams error 657RX and get back to work. If this video helped, be sure to hit that like button subscribe, and turn on notifications for more tech fixes. Let me know in the comments which method worked for you, or if you found another fix, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.